Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we're taking your calls at 866-870-5752 right here at the station so you can speak directly with Dr. Darrow about your pain. That number again is 866-870-5752. And we were talking with Hilda, and I'm bringing you right back with us, Hilda. There we go. Hey, Hilda, Dr. Mark Darrow, you with me? Yes, I am. Okay, i got a lot more stuff to talk to you about, so don't go away. No, Um, I'm not going away. I'm here. (laughs) Okay. So for the listeners who just tuned in, Hilda has MS, which is multiple sclerosis. And um, I was just telling her before the break that an alkaline diet can quell some of the inflammation that causes those plaques in the spinal cord and the brain. Have you ever been told that you have plaques like that? Did you get an MRI? Uh, I don't. Sorry. You don't know or you you don't remember? Uh, I don't. No, uh, rather, I don't know. Okay, but you've been worked up by a doctor, right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they, yeah. they did that to confirm the diagnosis. So um, uh, sometimes those plaques can regress, and the main thing, I think, is the alkaline diet. That gets rid of inflammation in the body. Not, not just a great thing for MS, but for any disease state, cancer, uh, uh, diabetes, you name it. And um, how is your weight on your body? Um, I'm 145.7. Okay, so seven. you're not, you're in, you're in good shape, right? How tall? You're five seven. Yeah, you're in perfect shape. That's pretty. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, I'm very active. Uh, used to exercise, but going to the to look like a tennis club to swim good. every day and wonderful. And ever since my. Ever since my uh, my knee uh, arthritis, uh, yeah, um, I can tell you that I stopped exercising, but I'm very active. Okay, well, I walk. You ought to con- you ought to consider if you do come in to remind me to look at your knee, and your shoulder and your neck, because those are areas that I can often uh, help you get rid of the pain with. Okay, Would I work you on the entire that body. I bring it- yeah, would you re- would you suggest that I bring in my uh, MRI record? Would that help? Yeah, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It, okay. Yeah, it's not it's yeah. not what I base my diagnosis on, but I like to see every, all the information I can get on any patient. Every every little bit can help, but my treatments oh. are based mainly on my examination and touching the areas and finding what we call the pain generator. That's the actual spot that's causing the problem. And unfortunately, too many doctors operate based on an MRI alone. And when, a, when someone who comes in with a failed surgery, that means they had the surgery and they didn't get better or they got worse, I always ask the question, did the doctor ever touch you? And they say, no. Why would they touch me? They showed me on the MRI what the problem was. And you can't find a pain generator in an MRI. I know this sounds crazy, but um, there are many studies done that show that people with zero pain have terrible-looking MRIs. So you don't get surgery because of a bad MRI. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, and then I do have a high tolerance for pain, so I'm not taking any medication for my arthritis. Excellent, yeah. Knee and shoulder. Yeah, I'm not taking. Uh, I was I was prescribed something, and I it gave me so much drowsiness that I decided yeah. okay, I'd rather tolerate the pain than taking the yeah. medication. <laughs> well, I'm in I'm in your boat. I mean, I rarely ever give narcotics to patients, and um, the reason is number one, they're very addictive. Number two, when you take a narcotic, you know, painkiller, you are upregulating the pain receptors. That means you actually create Uh more pain and then you need more medicine and then you get really addictive. So you don't want to be in an addictive state. What I'd like to do is wean people off their medicine. And what I find is people that, even people that that have high doses of painkillers, 
we can wean them off slowly and their pain actually diminishes just by doing that by getting off the medicine and when I tell them okay. about it they go that's impossible I can't live without my medicine and then when we wean them off they're shocked okay all right, Doc, I appreciate your time, the really valuable time. Uh, alkaline diet, I'll bring my MRI, and then you... you yeah, might look, up, look up on Google, alkaline diet or alkaline foods, okay. and start and that... In your office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you can start that today. Stay away okay. from foods that, that cause acid in the body. You know, things like grains and dairy products. They're the, they're the worst things. Alcohol, you know, clean up the body, and it may help your MS, and it certainly okay. may help the arthritis that you're having, the pain from oh. that. I'm hoping you're going to get All back right. to playing tennis again. All right, thanks, Doc. Appreciate your time. Your eight, your uh, office number eight hundred three hundred thirty nine hundred. I'll call. No, 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 no. Eight hundred three hundred ninety three hundred. Oh, I'm sorry, 9300. I apologize. I'm glad that we, I checked that. All right. Me too. Okay, Doc. <laughs> Me three. <Okay. laughs> Thank you so much, Hilda. We appreciate your call. Thank you. Okay. One, number... one last thing for Hilda. Oh, sure. Go Hilda, ahead. Hilda, if you, if you want to start a dialogue with me, you can go to my website, www.lastemcells.com, lastemcells.com. You can email me, and I'll get right back to you. Your turn, Nita. All righty. Well, I think I'll just let people know if they want to talk right with you face-to-face, so to speak, over the phone. (laughs) They can call us at 866-870-5752 right here in the studio, 866-870-5752. And the website again, Dr. Darrow's website is www.lastemcells.com. And there are videos on that site, and you can see Dr. Darrow performing the treatments on those videos. Very exciting stuff. And you get the free book today, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate, with 264 scientific studies. So that's, again, when you call us right here, you get the book for free. Our number, again, is 866-870-5752. Do you have another question ready to go? Always. But I wanted to mention one thing. Sure. I like to talk about Galileo. You remember him, Nita? Oh, yes. Certainly. He was the astronomer. Right. Back in 1663 or so, he was inquisited. There was a priest that chased him around all over because Galileo's point of view was the earth is not flat. It's round. And for some reason, this priest didn't like that. <clears throat> so he was captured, you might say, and threatened to be tortured. And uh, we have to look at that kind of idea when it comes to medicine, because medicine has a lot of old wives' tales that we learn in medical school. And uh, we have to be careful as doctors to keep pushing ahead and experimenting and trying things that really do work. And uh, regenerative medicine is one of those things. Most doctors that I talk to do not believe in it, and most surgeons certainly do not. So it's something I've been doing for over 20 years. It's worked on me. I've done it on my knees, my shoulders, my elbows, my right wrist, and my neck and my back. Most of that I've done myself. I've self-injected. My neck and back, obviously, I haven't done. I've had other people do that. Typically, that happens when we have a national convention. We all, um, after the convention, we inject each other. Uh, Most of the guys that do this work are athletes, and they have injuries, and that's what brought them into the work, and that's what brought me into the work. Um, Who knows? If I didn't know about this stuff, I may have ended up as a surgeon. I was in training to be a surgeon. That's (laughs) right. uh, It's interesting stuff. So we have a caller coming up, but first I want to get one more question in there. Okay. If you don't mind, Nita. Go for it. Uh, Let's see. This one's on shoulder. Let's see what the person says. MRI. Oh, here it is. Age, 74 male, in very good health. I love that. MRI shows 
total thickness tear left supraspinatus tendon with muscle retraction 0.48 millimeters, which is like half a centimeter, which is like a quarter of an inch. No big deal as far as I'm concerned, but some people think it is, and some people want to get surgery for that. I feel bad for them. They shouldn't have to do that, and they, they don't t- typically if they come to my office. Probable and partial tear of subscapularis tendon. These are the rotator cuff tendons we're talking about. Problem and complete tear, long head of biceps tendon. Good strength, flexibility, but aching pain at night. Several weeks of physical therapy. Can stem cells connect complete tear back to bone? What's causing aching? So the most important question that this man asked was, what is causing the aching? The answer is no doctor knows the answer to that. It could be a simple bursitis. It could be one of those tears, but it may not be. That person may have had those tears for, he's 74, he could have had those tears for 50 years and not had any pain. So my right shoulder has a subscap tear, just like this guy. It's got a supraspinatus tear, just like this guy. I also have a labral tear. This guy didn't have that. Um, So if I show my MRI of my shoulder to a surgeon, he is going to want to operate. Do I need an operation? No, I have no pain. I did have pain. My arm was locked up. I had a frozen shoulder, but I injected it. I injected uh, platelets and I injected stem cells. I'm going to go play golf today, pain-free. Okay? Don't get lost in this thing about a doctor told me I need surgery. The MRI shows this. It's not necessarily relevant. The time I say to go to the surgeon is if you have a broken bone sticking out. That's good cause. The rest of these things, be careful. Ah, we lost that caller. We did. But... I'll give the phone number so that that person can call back. If there was a problem, 866-870-5752. That's our number right here in the studio. And anybody can call us. We have some time left for you, and lines are open. That number again is 866-870-5752. So I have another question that came in. It says degenerative disc. Degenerative disc. What does that mean? It means the discs in the neck or back are starting to dry up and shrink, usually. We can see it on an x-ray because the space between the vertebrae becomes diminished. I haven't found that to be a cause of pain. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I was Mm -hmm. waiting for it. (laughs) Because, and I know why. Tell me. Because you can have a bad picture, a bad x-ray, a bad MRI, and you might not be in pain. That's true. So most people with degenerative discs do not have pain. When a surgeon sees a degenerative disc and the person has pain, what do they do? They do what they did to this guy. They did a laminectomy at L4-5. That means they cut out part of the bone and... Um, he, part of the bone that surrounds the nerve to free up the nerve. So the guy says, my work is at times physically demanding, so he's still in pretty good shape, and I'm honestly tired of having to deal with daily pain. So he had the surgery, but he still got pain, which is definitely affecting my work and life. I feel like I'm a perfect candidate for your treatment. Well, sounds like it to me. What would you recommend to me to move forward to getting treatment from you? Well, to get treatment from you, you've got to come in the office. Let me examine it. And uh, the way to get to the office is 800-300-9300. I'll repeat it for you. 800-300-9300. There are people by the phones now. You can call in. And I need to touch the area. I don't really care what the MRI shows. And I'm sorry you had that surgery and ended up still having pain. That's common. I get it every day. New patients come in. Doc, I had the surgery. Why do I still have pain? Because the surgery shouldn't have been done. That's why. And uh, there is a, a diagnosis called failed back surgery. It means just that. There's a lot of people that have 
a surgery for the back and it fails. So we got to be careful with that. I have to touch the body. I can tell you in about one minute. Um, if I can find the pain generator, we will inject that right on the spot and uh, start working on healing it up. How about you, Nita? Well, I think that <laughs> if people are suffering in chronic pain, that uh, your quality of life is diminished, and it's time to pick that phone up and call Dr. Darrow at 866-870-5752 right here in the studio. And you can talk to him right now at no charge. Plus, you get a free book. What a deal. The free book is Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate is the subtitle. And it has 264 studies. You mentioned a while ago Galileo was uh, harassed and punished because he had a new paradigm. The world is round. And this is a new paradigm called regenerative medicine. And I think it's hard for people to wrap their minds around a new paradigm sometimes. So, call. Well, it's hard to change the culture. And yes. it's really hard to change the culture of medicine. Because although doctors are really smart guys, they are very rigid. And part of the rigidity is they get their referrals from other doctors. When you get your referrals from other doctors, if you're doing something new, you're not going to get referrals from them. Why? They're afraid of malpractice. They're afraid of losing their license. They're afraid of being kicked out of the hospital. They're afraid of a lot of things. And I have had doctors that I have, I'm going to say healed. I don't like to say I have healed, but my treatments have healed using regenerative medicine. And even after they're healed, they don't believe it was from the injections that I gave them. They'll say something like, well, it finally healed even though they had it for 20 years. So it's, it's difficult to move the compass, the needle on the compass in medicine. Um, let me check here. So we've got a caller coming in, but I think I can sneak in a quick question here, if you don't mind, Nita. Go for it. Before I get there, I just want to mention we do PRP and stem cells on the head to grow hair. And that's a, it's in my book, a chapter on the research on that. And we can also do that on the face. It's called the Vampire Facelift. We inject your own blood, your platelets from your blood or your stem cells into the face. And it rejuvenates the face. It regrows the collagen. And you look young right away. So is this, oh, this caller ready to go? So we may as well go there. Okay, we'll go let's Nell. do it. Nell, how are you? Dr. Mark Darrow here in Glendale. Good morning. Dr. The right side of your neck hurts. How long has it bothered yeah. you for, Nell? <laughs> Particularly when I wake up and it's on the right side of the neck, it starts oh just below the ear on the right side where that muscle is, and then it goes to the yep. top of the right shoulder. Okay. And later on, it's the face, but it's a morning thing. I don't know if it's a sleeping problem or what. It's not debilitating by any means. It's just kind of good. Have you ever seen a doctor about it? No, I generally stay okay. away from doctors. Me too. <laughs> Me three. I try to stay away from doctors and government people, generally. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you 100%. And I always tell people, and I'm going to say it right now, the best way to stay healthy is to stay away from doctors and learn how to take care of yourself. Get on the That's Internet and look at what your issues are and see the natural ways of healing. You know, things like for your neck, massage, acupuncture, things that are on the safer side are much better, obviously, than getting a surgery. What I do I is very safe. It's just in, it's taking your cells from your body, injecting them back into your body in the area where there's a problem and regenerating the tissue. Now, without touching your neck, I, I can't help you and I can't tell you what to do and I can't. I don't know if I can help you with injections or not. But I'd love sure. to see you, and if you want to come in, the phone number to the office right now is 800-300-9300. I'll repeat it for you, 800-300-9300. <clears throat> Got it. It would take me, take me one minute, literally, to touch your neck and see if it's something I can help. If it is, you could decide to get treatment that day. It's quick. 
It's uh, very simple, and uh, I've been doing it for over 20 years with amazing success. I've used it on my body, in um, my knees, my elbows, my shoulders, my wrist, and my neck and back, and I've had amazing success. After the show, guess where I'm going? Okay. Golfing. I'm going to... I'm going to go play golf. That, what, what, that, what, what that tells you is my body is in pretty darn good shape. I'm 72 I'm years grateful. old. <coughs> I've beaten up my body one. about... Go ahead. Go ahead. You first. I, well, I, all I was just going to say is I had had one surgery one time. I was attacked by a guy. And in the process of taking him down, I guess it was so forceful. That uh, yeah. I ended up with hernia, and I had to have that operated on. But I carried it around for about a year and a half, and I finally decided. That's a different story. When you have something like a hernia, you've got to get, well, I'm not saying you've got to, but the way to fix it is to have surgery in most cases. Sure, but it's been, okay. a, it, it reminds me constantly, and that's been 10 years ago at least. Yeah. It's not, yeah. A, it's not a heavy pain. It's just a reminder. And, well, uh, look, just because you have a surgery doesn't mean your pain's going to go away. That's correct. Exactly. So that's what I found out, for sure. So that validates exactly. But there are, look, I love surgeons. There's a lot of surgeries that should be done. But most sure. of them in the musculoskeletal system should not be done, according to Mark Darrow. That's me. Well, it's not according to it's not according to God or the rest of the medical community. It's just according to me in my experience over 20 years of doing this work that we can usually heal up knees and shoulders and hips and blah 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 tendons and ligaments uh, by just doing some injections of platelets from the blood or stem cells. So why get a surgery when you can get an injection instead and walk in and walk out? Sure, I agree you know, with, with that. Almost, with almost zero chance of an infection or a problem afterwards. I like that. I like that. Previously on this show today, as you opened up, you mentioned about hair restoration and facial restoration. That's correct. And, uh, I'm an older guy now. I'm over 70, and I don't have... I'm not too bad compared to some of the guys I see out there, but I'm losing some hair, particularly on the on the on the pate there, and uh, I get a little bit of wrinkles and um, some jawline problems. It just makes me look old, and if I pull it back with my hand, it makes me look a lot younger, which is nicer. <laughs> Sadly, we're in, a, we're in a society where kind of people treat you the way you look as your age, and I try to. Oh, sorry, Nell. I got to cut you off. We are totally out of time here on Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Thank you, Dr. Darrow. And thank you, Nita Valens, and welcome. staff, and everybody else, and all you wonderful callers. We love you. We love you, and thank you, Alex Suzette. Listen to our pal Warren Eckstein from eleven to one every Saturday on the Pet Show. I'm Nita Valens, and we'll see you next time. You've been listening to Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Now that you've heard Dr. Darrow. You can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Or go online to lastemcells.com. Again, the website is lastemcells.com. Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. here on AM870, The Answer. Remember, to take the first step toward a pain-free life, schedule an appointment by calling 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free.